you will not believe that the nails you will see in this video first looked like this when Anna first came to me. In this video we are going to do feel for short beaten nails and also review two gel polish collections by Model Ones. Coming up! Hello guys, Anastasia here and today we are unpacking Midnight Party collection of gel polishes by Model Ones. This is how the box looks like and I really love the design of these bottles. They are square shaped and looks like the color matches the color that it is inside. Let's open it up and I really like the brushes they are doing recently of their gel polishes and let's take a closer look to the colors. The first one is dusty purple. You can see the number of the color in the upper right corner. Currently I'm applying only one coat so you can see the coverage. This one is light gray color. Next one is like dusty pinky beige color and the coverage is excellent. I mean take a look at how good it covers by using just one coat. This color dark red is super popular in my country as well as this one with glitter. I bet these two are gonna be the most popular among my clients like for sure. And last one number six is like a rich eggplant color. Now I will show you the entire collection all together beautiful fall colors. Well some of them might be suitable for holidays like the one with the glitter and now you can also see all these colors with two coats and the top coat on the top. I will leave the links down below to all these products I'm going to use in this video as well as my discount code. Next collection is by Model Once again and it is called Retro Lady. The packaging is similar but now we have some ladies here on the bottles. Let's take a look on this collection. First number 13 is like grayish light blue color. Next one is light mint. Oh, I love mint colors. I'm definitely going to use that one. Next is like beige with a little hint of mustard. I would say that's like not a typical color. I think some of my clients may like it. Dusty orange color. And each color right now I'm applying with just one coat so you can actually see how the color works and later I will show you how they all look with two coats. Dark red is definitely super popular here in Russia. So this is the entire collection. We have some light colors as well as some dark and now you can see each color one by one with two coats as well as with the top coat. I think this collection will be great for fall as well as for the holiday season, especially the red colors. Now it's time to do fill and I'm going to use this collection for some design. This is my client Anna. She has short beaten nails and her skin and her cuticles were badly bitten when she first came to me. So if you're new to my channel, I will leave the links down below to some previous service it was did with her and you will hardly believe that this is the same client. Now she used some regular nail polish on top of some nails because she got a bit tired of this design and decided to cover it up. So now I'm taking it off. Honestly, I didn't notice it when I started and my carbide bit got clogged like right away. So be careful when you're doing that. I had to change it and now I'm using just a regular nail polish remover to take it off. Then we need to file off product on top and it's been about two and a half weeks and she didn't break a single nail and I think this is success for us because I mean her nails are so short I was always worried that she might break them. We have a little lifting here on the side and I'm going to file it off. The only problem she had with her nails on both thumbs the corners were missing and it happened because she cut them off. She works as a chef at a restaurant and she simply cut them off with a knife and I was like oh my god well thank god it was just the nail you know not the finger. So on this nail we have some lifting on the left side again near the cuticle. You see this white part? This is the area where the product is separated from the nail plate already. So I'm going to file it around a little bit and then file off the lifted part. 
And yes, this part is so satisfying when we just get rid of all this lifting and now we have this beautiful nail we're about to fill with the new product. So once you take off the lifting, take a look once again because sometimes there might be some lifted product remaining. It is super important to take it all off and if you do not feel confident with carbide bead working so close to the natural nail, you can also switch to the regular hand file. Next step will be filing nails underneath because they have grown a little bit. I just want to take off some excess product from here. I cannot really reach the nail yet because it's pretty short, but I just want to create a smoother surface underneath because when we were doing extensions, I was not using forms, so I just want to smooth it out. Then I'm going to push back the cuticles and oh my God, you guys, it is possible. It was not possible when she first came to me, I swear. So as I'm doing this, I'm just having these flashbacks on how her cuticles used to look like. Let me show you. So this is what it was like. It was literally not possible to push them back. They were so hard and also she had so many cuts on her cuticles that I had to be super gentle and careful. And now just take a look at this. They're super easy to push back. So it's not only because of the cuticle care that we did, it is also because she was taking a great care of herself. I gave her a few orange wood sticks, so she was pushing back the cuticles after shower for a few days, and also she was using cuticle oil. Next step, working with the e-file, now I'm using the safe bit, it is also called Ani Clean. As I'm doing this, I'm seeing flashbacks again on how her cuticles used to look like, and this is what they looked like when she first came to me. So you guys can see now how far we went together by taking care of her uh, nails and cuticles. Next step, I'm using diamond flame bit. I'm basically doing the same, just cleaning the skin as well as the sidewalls. Then I'm going to shape the nails. Her dream was to have a square shaped nails and we did them last time. So this time we are going to have like a square square nails, if you know what I'm saying. Then I'm going to trim the cuticles and it's time to prep the nails. I apply dehydrator and acid primer since we are going to work with acrylic system. When you're applying acid primer, you need to make sure that it is fully dry. On some nails it may take a while. For example, on Anna we had to wait for about 10 minutes, so keep that in mind. And this is the thumb, the one she cut off with a knife, and we have some product here missing. And by the way, I used Model 1's glitter acrylic when I was first doing her nails, and we still can see some glitter here. So I'm going to create this corner uh, without using the form. I'm just going to do it on air. You need to pick the bead which is closer to dry consistency, because if you're going to use wet, it's just going to fall down on the other side of the nail. And now I'm basically sculpting the missing corner. This is what is so great about acrylic, is that you can do that without using form. You can, if you feel like you need it, but as the product hardens, you can clean it with a brush underneath, as well as on the top, so that you will not need to file it, well, mostly, just a slight shaping and filing. And then I'm going to replace another corner, which is not as broken, but it's still a bit rounded, and Anna really wants to have, you know, this like square shape when you can see the corners. After that, I need to add product near the cuticle. So I'm using a clear powder by Model Once. I'm working with this system for a while and I have to say it's really good. After product application, I'm going to slightly file and shape the nail. So if you did a good job on application, you will not need to do this a lot. I'm using just 180 grit file and then I'm using a ball bit this one is with red abrasive mark. I know that it looks like black, but it's because of my dry heat sterilizer. So then I buff the cuticles and this is how the nails look like after application. Now let's apply the color and do some design. And I'm going to use colors from Retro Lady Collection. 
and first we were thinking of maybe just two colors but then we realized that they match so good between each other so we decided to go for three I like the pigmentation of the color, it is so intense that they look good even just with one coat, but we will add the second one just to make them look even better. Fully cure each coat for 30 seconds in LED, and we just realized that Anna's nails are long enough for some nail art. I'm going to use the colors from the same collection, and I will be doing stripes with a thin brush. So they are imitating like a broken line or a broken wood. Let me guys know what kind of associations do you have with this design. Or also sometimes people call it a dry brush look. So basically I'm doing the line and then I'm stretching it so the end of the line is like smaller lines, if that makes sense. Even though Anna's nails are not as short anymore, they are still a little wide. So one of the best solutions uh, for nails that are wide, what kind of nail art can you do to make them look more narrow is definitely lines like this, because if you will do a horizontal lines, it will do the opposite. But, but when the lines are located from the cuticle area towards the free edge, especially when you have some empty spots on the sides, it will actually make them look thinner. And also you probably noticed when I was applying color I also left a little margin on the side so that after I apply the color we will still have this narrow nails look. I used colors from Retro Lady collection for this design and this is another reason why it is great when you have the entire collection because usually the colors match so well between each other so you do not really need to think because other than that, I may probably not really think that gray together with orange and dark red will be a good idea, but now obviously they look really good together. Now when we are done with the nail art, do not forget to cure it for 60 seconds in LED. And the last and the favorite step probably of all nail technicians as well as their clients is to seal it with the top coat. I'm using top coat by model once again. This is a no wipe top coat that gives nail this high shine. We are done here. Beautiful square shaped nails. Anna really wanted to have the square shape because when she first came we did them a bit differently. They looked like this because her nails were badly damaged and I thought it's just not reasonable to make them longer. When she came second time we did something like this, a little longer but still not square. And this is how her nails looked like. So then when she came back after two months we had to start over. Can you guys believe that this is the same hand of the same person? They look so beautiful now and it happened because we did four fills already and also she was taking a great care of your cuticles and hands. Let me guys know what do you think. If this is your first time here on my channel, consider subscribing as I post new nail art tutorials and product reviews just like this one every week. See you in my next one. Goodbye.